we shouldn't have been the world leader, the first in. We should have followed the rest of the world and we should have been using our political power and dipl diplomacy to push the rest of the world down pricing carbon and take it up with the rest of the world. Don't be the world leader when you're a carbon intensive country producing a minuscule amount of carbon compared to the rest yeah, of the world. By that argument, nobody would do anything. Yeah. Well, so, oh, that would no, great. Nobody, nobody, oh, well, that just makes the point. No, yeah, that would be great. Just, if, well, great in Australian yeah, context. But if that's your starting point that nobody in the world does anything, why do you give yeah, us a lecture about the policy area? Okay, why don't you just declare just, just, uh, that nobody should care about it? No, Climate I don't, change doesn't it, matter. No, I agree. No, we I, can have an all-night debate between you two. I'm going to pause you again. I want to actually hear from this side. Mark Carnegie wanted to jump in earlier. Tiny. Are you really going to tell your grandchildren that we should not have, have, as a nation, bought an intergenerational insurance policy about climate change? Let's debate the nature and extent of that. Okay. It is one of the most prosperous countries in the world, one of the biggest coal exporters, one of the richest countries on the world. We couldn't have been a thought leader. We couldn't have been an exemplar. When Exxon has said they back a carbon tax when Henry Paulson comes out today and backs a carbon tax. I'm going to have to look at my grandchildren and say we fiddled while Rome burnt. Well, look, what we should do is use... 